My family and I stayed here at this A-frame right here behind me, and we loved it. Four bedrooms, it was spacious and fun. We're gonna be taking a tour of it today, so let's go check it out. Today we are in Hawking Hills, Ohio, and I've been dying to come stay here at this A-frame. I've seen it for about two years now, being built and prepared to be on Airbnb, and now it is finally available to come book it and stay here as a guest. And I was one of the first ones, and I am so happy to be here. This A-frame is very large, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, there's decks on the back side, very spacious property, I believe it's 13 acres. So if you book this place, you'll come check it out, drive down the driveway, and the A-frame just looks majestic sitting tucked back here along the property. It kind of rises above the hill, and the black exterior with all these windows in the front, this is what an A-frame should look like. It just looks great in my opinion. Even this front yard, you can walk around and play if you want, and just all these different angles of this A-frame look incredible. You can park at the front of this driveway and walk down towards your A-frame. There is a small deck in this front space, a couple seating options out here, and you can see there is a path off of this deck that leads back to the back of the A-frame, but we'll get there in a second. The front door is actually through these sliding glass doors in the front, which we typically don't see. Normally we see the front door of an A-frame being on the side somewhere, but these front sliding doors are your front door. We'll walk inside and check it all out. Walking in here, typical A-frame style, it is grand in this front section. You can see the loft up here, the white walls with these wood beams all around look awesome with the natural colors everywhere, the wood, the whites, the blacks, very nice color palette in here. This wall back here has all of your windows that we just walked through, lets in a lot of natural light, it's bright in here because of the color palette and all of these windows, and just huge. You can probably see on camera how large it is, plenty of walking space. This left side is your kitchen, the right side is your living room. There's a basement, a loft, there's a lot to explore. So this left side will start with your kitchen area. Very large kitchen, this island is huge. It has six bar stool seats actually, four in the front, two on the side, so all of your guests can come around here and chill if they want. The island is really large and the countertop is beautiful. Look at the design in this countertop. It even matches on the back wall, this countertop back here. Very, very nice piece they got for this countertop if you ask me. But this island has your range here, electric top with the oven on this side, a hidden microwave down below here, some cabinet space, and then on this back wall, we have plenty of more cabinet options down here. Your sink in the middle, there are three skylight windows on this side, which is pretty nice. And this back side has some tucked floating shelves on this side, and then your refrigerator right here on this right side. You can see there's pantry options in these cabinets, and it just has everything you need. Coffee, cooking supplies, very spacious in here. The wood beams off of this kitchen go all the way up to the ceiling, which is a cool uh, detail to notice. And then we can go into the other side into your living room space. As we walk over there, the floors are these nice wooden floors. Goes well with the color palette here. And then this living room option has a couch on this left side, two chairs on this right side, and then a coffee table here in the middle. Nice furniture options to make it look really pretty, and the interior design is on point here. There is a fireplace back here up against this corner. It looks very real, but it's an electric fireplace. You just turn it on with a button, and the flame comes on. The wood inside of it and the wood uh, hanging up on this right side tricked me. I thought this really was a real fireplace, but... It's really easy. You can just turn on flip a switch. Overall, a nice living room. There is a little hanging light, reading light up here on this wall. The wood beams continue on this wall as well in the living room. And then you got the stairs behind you that lead up to the loft. But we'll get to that in a second. There's more on this main floor we got to explore. And that is back down this hallway, right in the middle of this A-frame. We have several rooms. The first one is your bathroom here on the left side. We can walk in here. There's a double vanity on this right side. High quality vanity with the cabinets in the uh, countertop right here. And then this back side has a shower surround. And then your toilet on this right side. Very simple bathroom. We can walk out of that and then continue down the hallway. The next door is your first bedroom space. Walking in here, there's a queen-size bed up against this wall. Beautiful nightstands and lamps on both sides. The mood in here with these lamps turned on look great. Really nice linen bedding on the bed. There is a TV and dresser on this side. And then lots of windows on this wall. You can close the curtains if you need to. Very high quality curtains in here. And then there's also an attached closet. We open up this door. Small closet to store your stuff in, mirror, and then some hangers over here, which is really handy. 
Very nice bedroom, so when I slept in, and it was cozy. Walking out of that, the last door in this hallway is your next bedroom. A little bit smaller bed here. They don't have a headboard, but they did do a wood slat design behind the uh, bed, which is a really nice feature. Some lights up above here. There is a skylight in here as well. And then on this wall, we have a small window with curtains and a very minimal spot to hang your clothes at. They got a couple hangers here. It's hardly noticeable, and I like it a lot that it doesn't take up a lot of room. We can walk back through the hallway now, and that is everything on this main floor. There is one last door, and it's the front one. This one leads to the basement, so let's walk down there. Walking down these steps, this basement has your second living room option. Very cozy down here. This is like the movie theater room, if you ask me. Without the movie theater seats, this is a spacious living room. This is probably where we'll be coming down and snuggling, watching a movie, having some popcorn. This couch is the exact same couch I have at my house, actually. I was very surprised to see this here. And it is the comfiest, deepest couch I have seen in my life. You can't really sit on it naturally because it's so deep. You have to, like, lay on it. You have to sit crisscross applesauce on it. It is the perfect lounging couch. There's plenty of space here. You can see a lot of guests here. And then of course you'll be watching your movie right up on the TV up against this wall. There is a fireplace down below it. So you can turn it on, set the mood in here and just have a really great time. I liked this a lot. It's cool to see my own couch in this Airbnb. And once you're done with that, there is a unique feature down here as well. Right behind this living room through this hallway, we have a workout room. We don't see this really ever at Airbnbs, but since this was a primary residence for a little bit, this workout room is really cool. Spacious, two mirrors up against this wall because you gotta watch yourself while you're working out. And then there are some baskets everywhere for foam blocks, there's towels, there's yoga mats down here. And these doors actually open if you wanna keep the air open in here out into the backyard space. But we'll keep them closed for now because we'll get out there here in a second. Cool feature to have this little workout room here. And then the last thing in this basement, there is your other bedroom. So this is the third bedroom down here. It is the largest. We can walk in here. There's the bed, nice linen bed sheets again, nice lights on both sides. And there is a small closet space over here. Lots of room to have your stuff if you're the person that likes to sprawl out all of your stuff. Or if you're the person that likes to sleep cold and in pitch black. This room is, since it's in the basement, no windows and the basements are always colder. So this will be the best uh, bed to be sleeping in if you're that type of person. There's one last area, we gotta go up to the loft, so we'll walk back up the stairs behind the living room. Nice oak hand railing, nice wooden steps, and we'll go all the way up to the loft space. Up here, this open area is a nice little study. There is a desk right here with a chair in front of these windows. If you like to journal, get some work done here, just handy to have in such a spacious and large Airbnb. And then a pretty cool day bed tucked in this little nook right here. It can be challenging to figure out what to do with these little weird um, spaces and houses. They just put a day bed up here and it's a cool spot to chill out. So this is the open loft area and attached to this through this door is your last bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom, probably consider the main bedroom because it has an ensuite bathroom. The first door on this right side is a small bathroom space, shower on this left side, toilet and then your vanity right around this wall and then we can walk out of that into your bedroom. This is at the top point of the A-frame. 360 degree windows in here, very bright and nice. There is a sliding door up against this wall that leads up to your private patio out back. Walking out here, there's just a couple chair options. Overview the property, we're pretty high up, which is nice to have. Definitely the main bedroom uh, perk for being up here. Back inside, the bed is tucked on your left side with a nice lamp and some lighting. Linen sheets, of course, and then a small sofa on this right side. And that sums up this bedroom. It's not the largest, but it is probably the most private bedroom up here. And that is everything inside of this A-frame. What do you guys think? Plenty of space to have a lot of guests here. Two living room options, a large kitchen, four bedrooms. It's really, really nice. And then a workout room. That's always pretty unique. You know, traveling, it's hard to work out you can get some stuff done in here. Now we can walk out the door on this hallway and into the back deck space. Out here is where all of the party is going to be happening. This really large deck space has lots of seating options, an outdoor dining table over here on this right side. There's a swinging chair tucked in this corner and just overall a nice area to entertain your guests. Your family, your friends can all hang out out here. There's string lights hanging around above, which is nice. Then we can walk down these steps. And then down here, we have an outdoor fire pit, which is nice. And then underneath the deck, there's more options. There's the grill, a swinging chair down here as well. 
well another dining table in case it's raining or something maybe it's really really bright and hot outside there's some shade down here and then this is also where your hot tub is located pop this open nice hot tub this is also where the doors were for the uh, workout room downstairs so overall a really nice space for outdoor activities privacy this airbnb has it all what, what's missing if you ask me i don't know if you want to book this place the link is down in the description if you uh, want to check it out anyway guys thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one